Folks, so after that cool start today down at 58, tying a record set back in 1994, we've warmed up quite nicely. These are the currents. 88 in Westlaco right now, 85 in Harlingen. Port Isabel checking in at 81 degrees. It's 95 in Rio Grande City and Brownsville at 84. The sustained winds right now still pretty good, 15, 20 miles an hour-ish across the region. Stronger winds in the east, a little lower when you get out to Star County, about 9 miles an hour out there. But it's that southeast wind that will bring the dew points up and keep us from getting as cool tonight as last night. Upper 60s for the most part. The beach about 77 tonight. And then tomorrow we warm up again back in the low to mid 90s across the region. Cooler at the coast, about 87 at the beach and about 89 tomorrow in Brownsville. The average high, the 30 year average for this time of year is 88 degrees. We should be above that tomorrow and again on Wednesday. Nowhere close to the records, but then we'll cool off nicely on Thursday courtesy of that next cool front. Now here's a look at future track. It suggests that it stays very quiet tonight. Hardly a cloud until later on and then by morning patchy clouds start to show up and by afternoon it's a mix of clouds and sun. There could be a brief sprinkle as the moisture returns. Then we go forward into Wednesday and again a spotty shower is possible but the best chance comes Wednesday night and early Thursday when a cool front moves into the region. Along that front a thunderstorm is a possibility and then it turns less humid behind it and Thursday afternoon just looks terrific. But our rain chances maybe a Sprinkle tomorrow in a few places. Wednesday night into Thursday morning. That's our best chance. We go 30 to 50 percent, and then it tapers off quickly after that by Thursday afternoon. I think our rain chances will go away. Rest of Texas is relatively mild today. 88 in Austin, 86 in Abilene, 72 in the Panhandle today. You'll recall late last week. Most of the state was in the 80s and Amarillo was in the 40s, so they have recovered and they're probably happy about that. Clear skies across the state right now. There's a little moisture beginning to show up down here. By tomorrow, we're certainly more humid. We go forward into tomorrow night and then Wednesday. Here comes our front. Wednesday afternoon, not here yet, but it's pushing southward and it looks like it's likely to move into the region late night, Wednesday night, early Thursday morning. And with it, that chance for a shower or a thunderstorm. We're at a marginal risk for severe weather, meaning there could be an isolated severe storm, but not widespread activity. Certainly nothing like what we saw up in East Texas over the weekend. That front then pushes away and the drier air builds in. And again, Thursday afternoon looks like it should be really nice. Certainly less humid with uh, plenty of sunshine really all across the state of Texas, including here in the valley. That goes for Friday as well. By the end of the weekend, the humidity comes back in again, but it looks pretty nice across the region. If you're headed to the coast, those beach access points have been reopened this afternoon. When, boy, I'll tell you what, the waves were high and the water up onto the beaches over the weekend, but things looking better now. 82 degrees in the morning, southeast the winds about 15. UV remains extreme. The rip current risk is high. The surf temperature right now at 78 degrees. By tomorrow evening, your air temperature is still about 79. Here are the tides that show up tomorrow. There's a low at 157 a.m. just after midnight tonight, and then a low just before noon tomorrow with a moderate chop on the bay. So tonight we're mainly clear with some patchy clouds showing up later on. Your low about 67 degrees southeast winds and then tomorrow a few more clouds. Could even be a sprinkle in the afternoon. A high of about 90 southeasterly winds continue. Better chance of rain comes Wednesday night into Thursday. That thunderstorm is in there as that front comes through. The possibility of that right now stands again at about 50 percent. And then after that we dry out just in time for the weekend. 88 on Friday, 90 on both Saturday and Sunday. But nighttime lows for at least a couple of nights back down into the upper 50s once again. So yet another cool down. This time, though, may come with a thunderstorm Wednesday night. That's your updated First 1-5 forecast.